Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars, welcome to another unboxing video. Well, it had to happen. I did mention on my recent uh, Blu-ray collection update video that went up very recently on the channel that I did have a couple in the post that hadn't arrived just yet. And then lo and behold, the very day after I'd filmed that video, this did arrive. However, I will um, save uh, showing this off in the next um collection update video for september that will be now but i thought i would do an unboxing of this because i'm pretty pleased with this and it follows the theme of star trek um, unboxings now as you guys know i'm a big fan of star trek uh, i like the new trilogy of films as well the kelvin timeline ones and all those series of films have their haters but i'm a veteran of star trek films um, and i really like them i thought they're really really good so you may have seen and i will put um at the end of this video for the videos to watch i will put the tag the video in there i did a recent unboxing for star trek into darkness uh, and in that ba box you got uh, you got star trek into darkness the uh, steel book and you got a little model as well like a, a starship model from that film uh, the villain ship a really nice set really pleased to get it and I've been looking for that version for Star Trek Beyond. And I've been eyeing up for a few months now of different versions. There's two that I'm interested in. Uh, there's the one that I'm going to show off today. And there's another one that I really wanted. But I just can't find it in English language. I think it's Spanish. A Spanish release. So you get three ships in that one. And I didn't want the Spanish release for that one. I wanted like a, a UK release for it. So I pulled the trigger and I managed to pick this up. As you can see. Star Trek Beyond Limited Edition. It comes in a nice big cardboard like type box. And this is the rear. There you go. And as you can see on this side here, you get another ship in this one. Um, so I'm not actually sure if this actually, I, this is still sealed and it's cellophane, we're going to unbox it together. I'm not actually sure if you get a steel book with this one or if it's just a normal Blu-ray and the, and the ship. Not really too bothered, I mean it'd be nice, I'm not really a big collector of steel books. You'll probably notice when I do my Blu-ray collection update videos I don't show off a lot of steel books because I don't buy a lot of steel books. don't have a big issue with them, I just don't like steel books that much. But when they come in sets like this, I don't mind. I've got a couple now. I've got the Man of Steel one. You can see behind me there. There, the Man of Steel one. That's got the steel book in. Uh, the Star Trek for this one's got the steel book in. And I think I've got another, maybe one or two with the steel books in. But it's not a deal breaker for me if it doesn't. So let's open this together and let's see what we get inside. All right, let's see if I can do this without damaging anything. I don't want to damage anything. This looks like it's going to be the best option. There we go. We are in. Let's beam me up, Scotty, and all that. Telephone is coming off and on the floor. So, straight away, I could see here there's like a. I want to see how you open this without. damaging anything this has got like a flap on here I'm not really keen when they do this on box sets or steel books or media books or whatever you want to call it just flaps stuck down with a bit of glue kind of pointless I think so when we take that off and I am going to take that off Right, so it comes with like this cardboard slip. I'm never enamoured with those cardboard slips on any version of a Blu-ray. But when you get in there, so you're left with this on this side, and then you turn it round, and that is the model that we're going to get when we open it up. And it actually looks, I bet it's the USS Franklin from Star Trek Beyond. It's, it actually looks like a better model than the one in Star Trek Into Darkness. So let's have a look, and straight away, for those of you hoping for the steel book, you're going to be disappointed because it isn't the steel book. It is a box standard Blu ray that we get. Again, 
like I said, I'm not overly disappointed. It's not a deal breaker for me. Uh, where the discs in? I do already have this on Blu-ray. So that is that. It goes in like a little slip packet there, and then we will. Wow! Pull out the ship. This actually is quite impressive. It seems mm, sellotape down, of course it is. Why would it not be? Oh, sellotape there, excuse me guys. Hands up who hates sellotape. Brings back terrible memories of my son when he was young. Opening Christmas presents on Christmas morning. Right. So that is the ship out. And it comes with a very nice... Comes with a very nice stand there. And it comes just like this. Very nice model, actually. It actually feels like it's a better model i'm just gonna just give me one second guys i have the other one up here right sorry about that yeah so i have got the other one here that i showed off a, a month ago maybe it's got the ship in there this actually they're a similar size. Yeah, they are a similar size. This one looks a little bit more detailed. It's got colours on it, you know, like with the engines and things. It's got a nice little metal thing that slips into the stand underneath. Again, I'm not going to take it out of the box and display it. I'm going to keep it in the box. I like to do that with all my collectibles. So, yeah, guys, that is my... Star Trek Beyond Limited Edition Unboxing. So you can get this for um, Star Trek Into Darkness and Star Trek Beyond. I've looked for the the first Star Trek one um, and I can't see a similar one for that. If you guys know different, let me know in the comments. I would love to pick up all three of them in this version. But I don't think they ever did it uh, for the first Star Trek one in 2009, which is a bit of a disappointment. It would be nice to finish off the three films with all of them with models. But I'm happy with these two anyway. So let me know in the comments, guys, if this is something you've got in your collection. Is this something you would like to add to your collection if you're a Star Trek fan? And thanks very much. Um, and I will be back with lots more content on the channel very, very soon.